Hi, my name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use cream products. So contour, highlight, shimmery highlight, bronzer and blush. Um, just to create just a more kind of luminous, natural kind of finish to the skin. This is really good for dry skin because you don't want to use too many powdery products because they can end up being too much on the skin. Um, great for mature skin, great for layering. So if I'm going out somewhere special, I will do the cream contouring, highlighting, blushing, everything underneath. And then I will layer some powder products on top just to create more depth more depth just to create more depth and dimension and to add more longevity so if you've got the two layered on top of each other i don't use a lot of either um it just gives just a nicer finish you know and if you're a beauty junkie like me you've got lots of products and you want to use them all so you're like i'll use cream and i'll use powder and i'll put this on and that if you've got oily skin um don't be scared of these products <laughs> don't be scared of creams just make sure you set everything in place at the end with the translucent powder this technique works best with liquid foundations um although if you're using powder i explain later how to do it so don't worry if that is you i'm going to jump into the tutorial now Okay, so we're going to start out with a primer. I'm using this YSL Tooch Blur Perfector. I got a sample from Mecca. The packaging is so gorgeous and I'm like, I really hope, but also at the same time don't hope that I like this primer um, because it's pretty expensive and like it's really nice. So I want to use it all the time. Um, but yeah, it just kind of feels like professional, but like a bit more silky um, just to fill in and blur the skin. Um, just whatever normal primer you would use is fine. So before foundation, you can go in with a liquid illuminator. Um, Josie Moran Argan Illuminizer is really gorgeous if you wear a more full coverage foundation. Um, so it will show through a bit more or if you just like a really intense one. And Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one in Opal is gorgeous. So yeah, I'm going to go over the top with the Josie Moran Argan one though because I want everything to show up better on camera today. At this point, you can go in with your foundation. Um, definitely a liquid. If we're using cream products later, you want to use a liquid foundation. Um, if you really, if you have a powder foundation and that's all you want to use, um, that's fine. You'll just have to do your cream contouring first and highlighting and you know blush and everything. You might have to make it a bit more intense so that when you put the powder foundation on top, it doesn't get toned down too much. So I'm using the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. Just one pump of that just all over the face. But I'm not going to go too crazy with my um, foundation today because um, we're going to be layering a few products on top so I will be able to get my desired coverage. You can see the highlight still shows through when the foundation is on top. But knowing me, I will still be putting more on top anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with a corrector under my eyes now and conceal a few blemishes that I have sticking out, just with a concealer that matches my skin tone. Now that we have our base and our concealer done, we can start to go in with our, um, you know, cream accent products. So the first one I'm going to be using is the Nude Sticks Contour and Highlighting Pencil. Um, I have the darker one of the two, and I would definitely recommend, unless you are super, super pale, to go with the darker one. I was thinking like, mm, contour deep, that sounds a bit intense, but it's not that dark. Um, so I'm going to go with the contour side, and we're just going to draw in lines where we want. This also makes quite a nice um, bronzer, so it's like pretty warm for a contour color, so yeah. You just draw it wherever you want to contour, so I do under my cheekbones, um, sides of my forehead, sometimes I'll do my temples up here to lift the eye area up, and down the sides of my nose. My nose is really hard to contour because there's this huge bump in it, but that's okay. <laughs> We'll work with it and contour under your lip, under your chin. You can do sides of the jaw, but I'm not going to bother right now. Um, and you could contour around your eyes as well. So lower lash line and like through the socket of the eye. And then you can take the highlight shade. The highlight shade isn't super light. That's the only thing I wish that the contour was like a little bit darker and the um, highlight was a little bit lighter. Um, but I'm just going to take that, not under my eyes where I conceal because I find that this can crease a bit, maybe like 
just in the deeper bit of the bag, but not right up under where I would get creasy. Just here to highlight the tops of my cheeks. Go down the center of the nose. Cupid's bow. <laughs> Chin. Forehead. You can go under your contour if you want. I usually don't bother, but why not today? <laughs> um, and yeah, the inner tear duct area. Like Sue. You don't have to use um, the nude sticks pencil for this. You can use like a slightly darker and a slightly lighter foundation or concealer or whatever you like really. But you know, I've got the pencil and I quite like it. So yeah. So I'm gonna blend out the highlight shades first so I don't muddy up my brush too much. Um, just with the Real Techniques contour brush. Kind of patting, like stippling the product in. On my nose, I like to use my finger. So that's the highlight blended in, and now we're going to go in, just wipe off the brush a bit, I guess, if you want, and blend out our contour. You can definitely, definitely use your fingers to do this. You don't have to use a brush. It's what I like about the product. But if you've got the brush, you know you may as well use it. <laughs> I'm going to take a smaller brush now to blend in that inner corner highlight. And blend out that lower lash line and darker color through the crease that we put there. Nude Six also do um, pencil eyeshadows and everything. I haven't tried any of them. I've only got their um, cheap ones so far, but I quite like them. So yeah, if you like cream eyeshadows, if you want to see a video on cream eyeshadows, comment below, let me know. I'll pick some up and do that for you. But at the moment, we're just doing cream base. It's going in with the sponge again, just to make sure everything is really, really seamless. So for bronzer, I'm using the Pretty Cheeky Bronzer from Spots Girl. Um, which is quite nice and I'm just kind of putting that in between where we put the highlight and the contour just there and then just like a bit around the forehead and whatever's left on my brush when I'm blending it out I'll put like on my nose or something. Some other bronzers that I absolutely love are the um, Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel and the L'Oreal Gram <laughs> L'Oreal and the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil. Um, I like those a lot, um, but I've got this kind of stick thing going on today. So that's why I'm using the stick and also this is super affordable. I think it's like $12 or something. So I'm going to be using the same brush from Real Techniques just to blend that all out. And for blush, I'm taking the Nude Sticks Duo Pencil in Mystic and Whisper. I'm going to take Mystic as my blush and I'm just going to kind of draw like little lines on my cheeks. Um, what I like about this product is it doesn't get too liney, like it blends out quite well. Some other cream products like the Benny Tint and the those little ones, like actual liquids, once you put them on, they just stain straight away. So you don't actually have time to blend them out and they are like little lines permanently there. Um, for the blush though, I don't know why, I just prefer to blend it in with my finger. Um, Depending on how much of your highlight is showing through, you can add more or, you know, leave it. Um, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox LA Lights um, in Hollywood and Highlight um, on my cheeks. I find that this is more pigmented than the highlight one from Spots Girl. Um, I just like their bronzer. Their highlight one isn't that intense. It's more natural. So I guess if you like more natural, you can go for that. But I like this one quite a lot. And I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheeks, a little bit up here, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and the very tip of my nose, like that. I don't like to put any on my chin or like in this area here because I usually have breakouts there, so it's just easier to leave it. And I prefer to blend this in with my finger. Um, it also has a little spongy tip on the end, and I used it once and it completely got stained with foundation, so... Um, I don't know how I would clean it to keep it hygienic, which is why I like to use my fingers. I'm just going to take a small brush with that and put that on my inner tear duct area as well, just to make it a bit shimmery. This is obviously optional, only if you like, um, you know, more shimmery highlights, which I do. They're so on trend at the moment. The more highlight, the better. <laughs> and then I'm just going to 
blend that out with my finger. Take a bit of that onto the center of the eyelid as well if you like. Again, this is optional because you can do like whatever eyeshadow you want with this. Now when it comes to setting your face, you don't have to set the whole thing, especially if you've used cream products, you know, it might be because you've got dry skin or whatever, but I would definitely always recommend setting the eye area at least a little bit because um, otherwise you'll just end up a creasy mess, or at least I do. Um, so I'm just going to go in and make sure there are no creases under my eye area. I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Oh, that's the eye one. <laughs> I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm going to take a mixture of the yellow and the normal skin tone just under my eyes and just slightly down. I'm going to take up on the cheekbones, otherwise it'll take away the shimmer of our highlight. But just down there. And then you want to set your eyelids as well. Um, even if um, even if you're going to be doing other eyeshadow, I find that it's going to blend and last longer if you set your eye area. So I'm just making sure there's no creasing going on. Then I'm just going to take a um, the this one, medium dark color, um, just under the lower lash line, just to set that cream contour under there and through the crease of the eye. Even if you're not doing any other eyeshadow, um, you know, that's perfect. It gives your eyes enough definition. And if you are going and doing a more eyeshadow, this will help kind of blend out your other colors because you've already got like a bit of a transition shade in there. And yeah, it just looks quite nice. And you might find that you leave it at that because that's enough for you. If you find that you get quite shiny and oily throughout the day, go ahead and set the center of your face with those same light shades. And then I like to go in with a translucent powder, just where I find that my makeup doesn't last throughout the day or goes too shiny. So in here, the sides of my nose, my chin, my forehead, and down here because I lean on things. But I'm definitely not putting any on those highlight areas um, because it will just take away. I'm going to go back in with that nude six pencil. I'm going to take the other color, Whisper as my lipstick. Fix up my hair and then we are done. That is your cream contouring, highlighting, bronzing, blushing. Um, I think this is really, really pretty um, for every day. Um, if I'm going out somewhere special, I will do this and then I will go on top with some more bronzers and blushes because I just can't stop. If you recreate this look, please hashtag Amea I would love to see it on Instagram though because I don't know how I use Twitter. Um, and I don't know how hashtags work on Facebook or if they even do. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you'd like me to show you a cream eyeshadow tutorial, I can definitely do that for you. I will pick up some more cream eyeshadows so that I can make that happen. If you have any other general video requests, please comment below because I would, I would love to make videos that you guys want to see. As much as I like to make what I want to make, I still want to sometimes make what you guys want to see. So yeah, comment below so that I can do that for you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my new videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.